robotics and biochemistry. Both those today are essentially where mainframes were in the 1950s. And the entire personal computer revolution is happening in both those fields, and it's going to change the world. In the next decade, it's certainly going to be the tablet, like the iPad. It is going to have such a devastating effect on newspapers and broadcasting and how we read and write and draw. It's going to upend how we see the world and understand the world and therefore our societies and democracies. I think in the next decade, Wi-Fi is going to have the biggest impact of anything. You may think we've already got it, but there are many millions of people who don't have access to it. And the larger number of, pe number of people using it, the more impact it's going to have. So for me, although it may seem like an old technology to geeks, it's going to be the one that's going to have the big impact over the next 10 years. Um, I think the Google Book Scan program and what that really means, which is making all information, all knowledge available to all people everywhere in the world for free, that will be a world changer. I believe that it will be our ability to actually directly uh, control the climate, uh, so-called geoengineering. Uh, it's something that we're going to need to contend with over the next decade. The next decade, is, it's going to be genomics. So every one of us, I think, by the end of the next decade, will have our complete genome sequenced. And, you know, and so, of course, that's a technology at the core. But then that's the sequencing technology. Then begins the play of all the bioinformatics technologies to try to relate that wealth of information to phenotype and, and phenotypic consequence. But by a decade from now, you and I will have our genome sequenced. I'm excited about synthetic biology, creating novel life forms, which is probably going to transform not just research, but vast areas of commerce. Everything will be smart. Everything will be connected. Uh, but there will be a rogue group of people who eschew all technology uh, and seek to uh, destroy it by exploding carbon bombs that break circuit boards. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we will be healthier. We will be traveling, I fear, a little bit less. And we will certainly be consuming much less carbon-based material than we do now. It will be a calmer world and a vivider world, but a slightly happier one. No, that's, that's bollocks, that is. That's all bollocks. I think by then it will be a planet inhabited by fewer but wiser people. I think that... In an optimistic sense, we'll, we'll have gotten over video games, we'll have gotten over our reclusiveness, perhaps cities will thrive under conditions that are less anonymous. Um, people will plant city gardens and they'll, um, in general, cooperate more than they do now, in part because of technology that will enhance communities and in part because people realize that it, it adds to their quality of life. And the pessimistic side of me says that technology could make us all more, more reticent and more isolated from one another. I have a rather gloomy vision on present grounds because I think that uh, the new technology is enabling uh, governments and uh, even commercial companies to intrude upon our privacy in uh, ways uh, that are undreamt of in previous generations. We fought for many centuries for our hard-won freedoms and uh, human rights and civil rights. They're all being taken away sometimes just with an excuse for something like the war on terror. And I think that's going to get worse and worse in the coming decades. Of course, what I hope is that people will wake up to this threat to their individual freedoms and liberties and will stand firm against big brother and big government and big commerce. In 2050, I'm going to be 70 years old, or young, <laughs> at, uh, given new technology. And I expect that uh, my granddaughter will come up to me with a little flower with different colors for all the petals. And she'll say, look, I made this in class today by modifying its DNA. And I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs>